So as you can see here, like your, in your data, you are having some uh, 80,032 non-null uh, objects, or you can say integers of in the ID. So overall, like you have some 18,032 entries, mm -hmm. and you are having 11 columns there, and these some of your like column names are there. Right? So nodes, status change, detected state, nationality. Uh, detected city, gender, age, and the government. So we'll be doing some analysis on this data. So when we print the head, we can see like these are the IDs. Uh, these are the government ID. Okay, right. So first we'll see the uh, like the plotting of. So let's see something. Where to get this data set? Individual details right here. Searching for a data over there once again. Saw some data it's not having here now. Where the place has been. Oh, it was of here, I think. Okay, let me go there. if later onwards yeah so uh, I was just plotting out the data right what I was doing there to find yeah uh, 
dot data and the values. You can see there are a lot of there. So you can see your data is having a lot of values, right? So a lot of null values in this age, gender, city, uh, government IDs, nationality, uh, somewhere in the nodes too, right? So you're having uh, very null values. So if we search for the not null, we'll see very less values of the things, right? So these are the values where these places are not null, okay? So only these places are not null and like this, I are having null data. You can even make it larger to see on it. Uh, to see your, let's, uh, let's see a larger one. Mm. Dot. With a size which will be uh, let's say to be 8 or 10 cross 10 or 5 or 10 cross 10 is 5 so you can see some uh, unusual undetected data over there right so that is uh, like how your heat map looks like okay so you can make it small I'm not making there so there are some of the null values. So what we'll do first of all, we'll remove the null values so that uh, there should not be any null values while we're predicting or like analyzing something, right? So we'll try to drop all the null values. So now it's having 254 uh, rows and 11 columns so you can see like if I just print on df so you will be only having some 254 rows like, like that so and before you are having some this was entries like you can see 18,000 but you have a lot of null values see you can see here like a lot of null values in the detected city itself so that might cause some problems so not they, these are not having any null values in the particular uh, like columns or anything okay so it will be easy to uh, like analyze on this data set so like uh, the problem statements could come like we are having like uh, on what particular date like the start date and the ending date what is uh, uh, you can say what is the range of uh, date or range of the uh, records you are having on a particular date so to find the range of dates what you will be starting from the start date and you will see just the last of that diagnosed date or you can just sort it by or group it by anything you can uh, write it on right so what I feel that I should go with this tail and that will give me that exactly the one what I want okay so that is 15 4 2020 it's giving there right you are getting that So here you are getting that last date or like the last uh, set what you are having last uh, record you are having it on 15 April 2028. There are some detected cities and like things are there. Okay. So and the starting is 14th 1st 2020. So like you are having a like only uh, 254 but still these are not having any null values that's a good point okay so if we see for the government IDs these are the government IDs of those people who like traveled and like uh, faced or something like this okay so which state is having like the most number of cases among this data set so like we you can just find out like only the count plot and I think this this could work much better. 
instead of like writing up the code, if we just plot all the things. So if we say uh, we want to see the detected states, so unique of that. So PDF of detected state and unique of that. So it's been like okay, okay. unique of one is you have to make it more large. Let it be very cross eight. So according to this data, now like if you feed on with this data, so detected state. Okay, so according to this data, I'm going only with the null remove after the removal of these non values, or you can say the non values. We can find that Karnataka is having like, the most number of detected cases between the 30 to like, you can say, for the April, like in between two of these uh, months. So it is having like Karnataka is having 120 plus, so you can see it's 100, 120. So might be 140 or around something 35 and 38 right and like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 states data it is having on right so soon after this is Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Kerala and like there seems to be Maharashtra seems to be very less as compared to this but if you see the graph of now as compared to the uh, this graph like in the April if you see for the now go to see how the state data actually you can see the differences that is uh, now if you see according to the uh, yeah, the cases or like the active cases still you can see that Maharashtra is leading out there right so I think it's leading there so like you can uh, see that difference like to expand and uh, right. you can even scrape this data like you can give the URL and like you can just print out this data, you can bring this data itself in your pandas just by giving a URL you can just keep it on there like if you say uh, this copy link address so what this link address does if I just paste it for it here Take it here and paste it kind of this data. Hmm. So, again, like you can see this. So, what you can see is like you are having the data over there, and if you just come up with this, all these things you will see Mara standard, right? So, I'm not going with this now. You can scrape out of later on, it's okay. So, you can see like the detected state is like for the Karnataka is having a lot. But if we see the detected city, what about the city with city is having or like with city in which place it is located. We can see right for that. Okay, so let's print out for the detected city. So we will not go with the codes again. Visualization is important. So with the city, okay, there are a lot of cities. So let's see one by one. So you can go with uh, this one or like you can plot the data of only like depends on first 20. And still let's make it more bigger. 
20 is enough, we uh, should be around 50 I think. across let's say 30 see the data still you can not find here so you can find the value counts over there and you can get it the data or else with the count plotting it's not like good so can just uh, see like Karnataka is having, uh, oh sorry, go with, okay, with this data that was 131, okay fine, so let's don't delete this, let's go with the, uh, edit the cities, hmm. so you are having them the top as Bangalore, right, so you can even find out where this Bangalore is, we are having 47 cases from this Bangalore, uh, 10 from Hyderabad, like 9 from there and so on it goes to continue. So what are the unique cases, you can also find the unique cases, right? Uh, sorry, first found the unique cases over there. So only if we see the unique one, we can see these are the cities which are like unique, okay. So only in this much cities we are having, uh, in the first, or you can say, according to this data, this is also taken from this uh, MOHW. So uh, like in from the first Feb or uh, in the end, mid of April. So from the first Feb to mid of April, this was the number of cities which was like affected mostly. Not mostly, you can say, like affected mostly. Right? So, among of this, like Hyderabad is no, not sorry, Bangalore is in the top from in that time of period, right? It's not like now, but in that time of period, it was there. So, this were the two problems we did with that. Now, if you see, uh, this like take any uh, any particular city, okay? We will see uh, the maximum number of cases or like uh, if we find the number of cases in one particular state so let's say I want to find the particular cases in Delhi so with the graph I can see that the cases might be between 0 to uh, 10 or something like 11 12 right so with the graph you can see but what if you want to write a code for that now okay. Yes. What if to write a code for that? You can get from data set from here, right? See, you can see here the graph, right? The graph states that this is most probably it will be uh, like 10 or 11, 12, 8, 9, something in the range of that, I think. Mm -hmm. So you need to, like I want to search how much in Delhi the cases are. Yes. Similar questions, right? I am just repeating the questions. Like we practiced yesterday, yesterday also we practiced this same type of question but with different data sets. So that practice varies. The more data set you practice, the more uh, like the concepts will be clear on. Method will be same, yes. Would be responding there, Anusha. Or Rita, Surya, Ramsi, anyone there? Yes. Answer, like answer will be same, right? Uh, you, or you can say method will be same. We did yesterday, right? you need to calculate right exactly the number of cases or the number of uh, let's say uh, patients right in the Delhi city or uh, like the state Delhi you want to locate this Delhi state actually if you try to understand the concept 
this is here in the WhatsApp you want. Okay. Drive link in the WhatsApp. Answers still um, I haven't get any answers. Anusha, you say what to do there. Hey, you know what I think. This uh, email you are attached from me. Yes, I can Redirecting. What is this? I, this this is means I think it would be drive name or something similar to that. Okay. So yes, answers there. Repeat the question once you're saying. See, uh, what I'm saying is you might be having some state value, right? You, you are seeing that you you have some values for this study. Right? So I want to count the number of values. That's it. Just want to count it, nothing else. Easy methods, right? You are having this particular state and you want to find the number of occurrence of the day, that's it. Number of occurrence of the day will state itself like what number of uh, uh, values you are having. Guys, right. See, you have again several methods to find out the things. You can use Monty, you can use pandas. There are several methods again. You can use locations. Uh, he's saying state to be true. DF of state, uh, okay. DF of state. You want to find the count true. For what? It will not work. Anything else? See, if we go with the numpy basics one, so there what you do, you can do is that you can go for this detected states. So, D E T E C T E D. So, detected state, right? And they can just see on like you are having some numbers over there, right? So, do one thing. Save this to be import numpy. So let it be a equals np dot array. And since this is a series, we'll make it an array. And uh, we'll see a. So that is like the values we are having here, right? So that's nice, right? You just find the length or the occurrence of the a equals equals to any. Oh, it is one, only one. How oh, we are getting some plottings over there. How can it be only one? Yes, it's one there. So this is daddy having only one. Detected states. Okay. Alright. So let's see for this Karnataka.
So I can find some one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eight occurrence of the D. So that states that this is having some something around eight. Okay, less than ten it is having. Okay. Any other methods? Harita uh, say. So NP where used to show the index values, right? Yeah. Detected states. Okay, detected. Sorry, uh, that is. So list of df of detected state you are saying, and you are searching for the count true. So that is eight. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Understood. So once you try it for this, that's the only thing you missed out. That you need to find out if equals equals to the delhi. Right, and since it is a pandas, you just can't go for the counting of this. You'll have to convert this in the list, and then you can count for the list, uh, true or false, whatever you're trying. Okay, so that you can do. Right, uh, even also if you write the count only, then you can see the number of uh, occurrence in there. But still, I wanted you to just print, use your some sort of things over there. Right, so uh, you can just get everything from just by writing the value counts still. Okay, so what is the ratio of like the gender uh, of this data set? So I, if I see the like gender, what is the ratio of this gender? So for finding the ratio, what you'll do? Hmm? Yeah, that's easy, right? Now you, now you must say it, like, everyone can understand. What about uh, let's uh, talk to others? Is Adash, what should we do if we want to find the ratio of this uh, the females or like the males versus females, males upon females? I want to find the number of ratio. What I should do? All right, see. Uh, like I just have asked you the ratio, try to understand what I am asking is. So I want to ask you the ratio, that is nothing but some, as, as I said, like males over the females. So what you exactly have to do is, you have to count the number of males and the number of females and the divide, you will be getting the ratios, that's it. Right? So you just say that, mm, this is df of the particular the gender so df of this gender um, go for the value counts we'll see 183 males and 71 females so find the ratio that's it is 2.55 something and you can use this right what should I write yes let's see whether you remember or not I need to write this expression what should I write what the command should I write oh he's is giving something there Yes, guys, let's see whether you remember or not. I want to write an expression of this ratio. What should I write? Suit has given list of df of gender equals equals to male to account true divided by list of df of gender equals equals to and you are getting this ratio. That's it. So, nice try, but correct. Yes, cancel. Rational. Mm -hmm. SP dot rational. I just want to express this. 
have given you the hint. Hmm, rational will not uh, work. Like, see, uh, you just want a fraction, so we are saying for the fraction. Alright, we will try everything. What will you say? Someone said something else. Capital R. Okay. Sorry, capital R. It will be looking like this, right? So that will not work. Fraction, some saying for the fraction. you will get like the values like this I just see remember I just want the expression I don't want any cancellations and like all those things only the expression right I just want to say that this is 181 upon this that's all For that what I should use factor factor will factorize or like factor was like used to some do some of the factorization something like right it was used as kind of to factorize some things or like you have some uh, quadratic equation and you use that to factorize find out the factors basically yeah so that is like your you have got your answer that is your 2.577 or this is like this uh, next task is okay in between these all the thing these uh, in between solve one more question what is the mean of the or like what is the average uh, age you can say in this data set being affected by this disease what is the average age of this data set how to just see the average I would just want to see the average age yes answers that will be easy one Just the value we are getting. And we can like use this one also. I have to make one side. We can have this denominator. You can get your value. Sorry. Two point five or something around this side. Let's give it there. Yeah, five point five. So right. You can like you can just define this thing so you are getting like the ratio. It is five is to two ratio, right? You can even pass on all these things. Yeah, the mean of that age, anyone there? That's a quick answer, right? <clears throat> that is easy. Yeah, I was expecting from you. You would be giving the answers. All right. So, DF of age dot mean and I, it's an infinite value, it says. What is the end of each? Hmm. 
so this is like the age Okay, this is string. This is string. Problems. Basically, it's a string over there. Okay. So, how to find the mean of this now? Sir, so after converting uh, age as series, yeah, I converted. DF of age of dot sum by DF of age dot count. All right, we'll try everything. So Surya is saying the sum of this all with the count. So see what is the error here is like you will do the sum. That is not the sum. It is added up all the things like 2, 0 and all this. You will see the last element as the 3, 2, right? That is 3, 2, C. So this will not work here. Like you want the integer values of all those things. Yes. Think of how to do now you are having these as the strings you want to find the mean value of these interesting right. fine ah meanwhile i'll show you this one that here you can also write if, if it is like 183 by 71 you can also represent it by just by writing it as mm, there is something i you can say this as a rational one is three upon seventy one and you can print a that is not correct. You can use your delimiter over there. Answers still no answer. Fine, try try things out. Try to make it in the number. How will you make the strings uh, like in the integer values or something like that? So to find out the mean of this. So uh, yeah, so how do ASCII codes vary on guys? How do this ASCII codes vary on the number? Okay, we need our series. Question mark is there. Okay. Well, if you have question, we'll try out. We'll see what comes. So a PD of series, you are saying. Okay, that is also giving you a series, right? If you are just finding it like. Uh, df of uh, age of me uh, like if you just find for this this is also in series right name age length on this okay a series of this and then you want the mean of this yes oh, sorry capital s so you'll get the same thing right because this is also a series what you have done in the first line that is a series okay
yes answers try it out uh, let's ask to yeah puja you say what to do sahil and diksha harita supriya you all say what to do there try out things trying or not like seeking only seeing or like trying some works as concatenation yes uh, see it is because you are uh, like you are doing these things in uh, string right and in string what happens as i said like string don't have any uh, additions on like what happens it just concatenate it just combines the things okay it just like combine the things to um, works like a concatenation Yes, anyone thought anything out there to find out? Yeah, I was there to ask you that how the ASCII code variable. If we see, if I just say that, there must be numbers between zero to hundred, right? Uh, something around more than three or one to hundred, right? There must be numbers from one to hundred. So let's say if I am saying for x is equals to let's say a list of there. So if I say for x in right, so x in range of one hundred one. x and then print the ORD of x don't print it like I'm not printing let's remove this string of length 2 found so like 149 250 351 452 553 654 and just like all these things right so uh, we can like uh, estimate things right we can uh, there is something Arita has done so I think this is working we just see for this df of age is equals to df of age dot s type of integer and then she is saying that df dot age of me one and it's getting 39.7007830 and something like this right okay right fine so this could work right and uh, even if you can just find the ASCII codes of all these things and then combine to find the mean because ASCII code varies like the least number will have the least ASCII code and then you can like find the mean but that would be different according to that right it will give you an average value of that particular thing and you have to do something a lot of process so if it is working with the, like if you can work with this one that is even also good right so as type is used I think you guys must remember this yeah, we can do like this as uh, it is. There is one more. Let's copy. 
copy this so s type yeah sure s type of integer and then the sum divided by this of count oh this could be mean uh see you, you do one thing average sir. average sorry the value is average sir. average value average value yeah this is correct oh you are dividing by the sum of the count yeah so this is average value you are getting there like with the uh, you can say this is the mean you are getting right so you can get things just by uh, like if you were confused that is easy we learn like what s type do so it will con like convert your things and it will work there right so that is how all right so you are like doing good in analysis uh, let's say for the next one okay age found gender found and detected city done not going to the districts the state done um, this is done right so this uh, data set is done now let's load some different data So let's do this one. So here we have something new as like uh, one a month ago, which is one by plot. Like uh, let's take this most underscore followed underscore this Instagram user, right? So we'll take for this. See, most underscore followed underscore ig dot csv. There only one thing we're going to do that, nothing more else. So that is most underscore. That's why I or something. Anything wrong with the file path buffer and errors are there. See console for more details. Most followed is not UFT, UTF encoded. All right. What's the problem there? Not UFT encoded.
it will not work there so let us call it okay we'll go with this IPL data set hmm so uh, let's see the info that is you are having some 17 columns uh, that this column is of no use zero null non-null objects that is no use uh, everything is having mostly 636 okay entries are 636 you are having 636 rows 18 columns and let's see your data so ef dot head okay uh, let me do one more thing if you would have done this Just let's say that if you have done this one and if I count okay fine hmm so this is your info and you are having some much rows and like 636 rows and this much columns so when you see the head what you are seeing that you are having season you are having city like date team uh, the team played like the matches played between the team the toss winner uh, the decision of this toss the result like the dl applied or not and winner of the match win by the runs win by the man of the match by the wickets and a lot, a lot are there right the first umpire second umpire this unnamed one is of no use for us okay so our first task is to see uh, how much like uh, you can say the first question is what are the number of teams participating uh, like okay before than that let's see like the number of season you are having so uh, what are the number of season you are having in this data set answers number of season you are having in this data set the answer coming one minute Yes, answers. Uh, see, like this is your data set, right? You just want to find the number of teams participating. That's it. Number of teams participating. Uh, in IPL, what happens? Every team plays between each other, right? So if you find the unique of teams, you'll be getting the number of teams. Even if you find the number of season, if you want the number of seasons, so what you can see like your season are starting from 2008, right? You can even pass on this uh, like. See, in 2013 you are having 76 matches, 2012, 74, 16, 60 matches, uh, like you are having what the uh, actual thing I am asking you is the number of seasons, not the number of, this could be the answers also, <laughs> I have given you one, I was supposed to have this here, alright, so you can see like you are having from 2013 and all these things are there, right, so what is the number of seasons there? It is exactly the length of uh, 
and the unique values. So there are 10 seasons, right? What are those seasons? That is DF of season. So we are having a data of from 2008 to 2017. All right, from 2008, yeah, length of DF of season. Dot unique, you have forward dot unique, yeah. So it is, it's okay. Arita seems type. Where from this type came from, see? Okay. So you are getting 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And like uh, this value count will give you the season names and also like in which season, how many matches has been played. So we'll plot a graph for that also, don't worry, we'll plot a graph and we'll see like which season has got the most number of matches. So uh, among of these, if I just find the max of this. If you just find the maximum or like, if you just find the maximum of data of this, you'll be getting some uh, like, It would be better if you just plot a graph and then see the things over there. So 76 is having the maximum uh, value and like in which one is having or which season is having 76 that you will be getting from here, right? That you are getting from here. 76 you can see as in the 2013. So we can even plot this. So that is a question like which season has got the most number of matches played between the past 10 years because we are having a data of 10 years right so between the past 10 years the most number of uh, the, like the best season or we can say the matches played mostly in which particular season so that will be like your sns dot count plot again you just want to uh, see a counting and you say you want to count the season and your data is uh, sorry your data is this ds so you can see here that, uh, let me just make it bigger, this PLT dot figure. This keyboard I have put up with this, fix size to be 8 plus So this is your data, like you see, like you can see right this 2013 graph, this particular graph is like or this particular bar is high above like you are having and similarly like for 2012 and 11 and you can see the data like, okay, that is easy. Now the next question was I say that what are the number of teams who have been playing in this the past 10 years? Yes, the number of teams who have played between the past 10 years. Now what for that? And if they have played, which team has played for the most number of times? We know like the teams play equally at the final matches or like uh, there. So which team has reached the most number of finals and like all those things. What do you see exactly in the te television, right? So data plus, data plus? Okay, <laughs> sorry, data please. How should I I'll see. What is the data plus data please? To copy link, copy link, an option of that. Copy link data. This is data. So uh, it's right. Uh, this think of the command. What should I use? That if I want to see the uh, like team participating, right? Don't go with the most number of teams now. And the team participating in this like IPL data set, uh, you are having the past 10 years, what are the number of teams who have been participated? So, uh, teams would be DF. Okay, so as I said, what you know that in IPL team 1, team plays with the team 2. Every team got uh, will get a chance to play with the another team, right? Okay, so more than one number of time, every team got, uh, will get a chance to just play with the another team. So if we say,
Yes, there we are. Saying. So if I say like df of t one, right? So we'll print our teams, and that would be around six hundred and thirty-six. And you can see that number of teams you are having on there, right? So now you want to find like the unique values itself. You can say here like you want the unique and print the teams. So you have KKR, CSK, RR, MIDC, and this much teams over there to just find things, right? You can also say the teams played. Take any particular column of team one and go for the value counts. So if you see your team played, so you will see that the most number of times a team has played that is like Mumbai Indians, right? I support that. You have Kings Nine Punjab, like CSK, RCB. And these are the teams who have played for the most number of matches, right? Still analyzing something or like got it? Toss winner unique counts. Okay, I've got some more values there. Toss winner. Okay, you are going with the toss winner. Fine. Rest of df of toss winner dot unique. So. If we count the, see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So 13 are there here if we go for the length of this. So nice. Good. So every team has at least one one time toss, right? That's good. So Diksha Yadav has been saying the value counts of team 1. Okay, fine. That is like done. Is there Surya is saying something else? <sighs> Let's of course winner. I think we did it. Yeah, done. Okay, so yes, you can do with that. Even you can go with the team two also, right? Team two will also get a chance to play with the team one, right? And you can also go for this, uh, right? Uh, you can also go with the. Mm, Toss the season, right? Like for the back, being on the body, like with those things. No, toss the season will not help. Okay, so fine, you can just see the like, and the most number of matches you can see, like in the 2013, we have played. If you want to just uh, find out the uh, like the best uh, number of teams or like the team who has played for the most number of matches. Uh, in between the 10 years so for that you will be plotting some things like if I say we need to plot a bar graph or bar plot or like we are plotting a bar graph and I say my data oh, sorry I say this to be what is it df right yeah let's say df dot index And we'll give horizontal plotting. And before that, let me write this df. Uh, let's say data. df dot t one. Hmm? The value counts. So you can see a graph over there. Like, uh, I say.
size three, ten by eight. Oh, this is wrong. Ten by eight. That's nice. Ten is wrong. Let's see. It will be eight by eight or eight by ten. It's again wrong. So you can see like uh, hmm. that's okay. But so according to this data, like for the team one, uh, you can say number of teams over here in the y-axis. The most number of match or number of matches played here in the your x-axis, and you can see like MI has been for the best one, or like the number of most uh, matches, right? It has played the most number of matches. Similarly, you can count for like the uh, team won by most number of times. You can also count for the team who has like won for the most number of times. Still, you can get that if we just say this data. Winner. the number of columns you are having on the toss winner so toss winner T O S S toss winner still more by let it be the index y to be in this one there. Okay, okay, we'll see it later on. So, my next question so we have seen that right now. If I say which season has got we have seen, hmm. okay, so in the past 10 years, which city has got the most number of matches played in their places, right. Like the IPL matches have been like in mostly in the Bangalore or Kolkata, Mohali, somewhere. Right? So I want the most number of matches played in a particular city. So which city is the best one? Uh, you can say like the most popular city to play some matches. So which one is the best? Like which one is the popular one? Hmm. Yes. DF of city dot unique. Let's see how many cities uh, we are having the matches in how many cities. Oh, cool. So we have Bangalore, Chandigarh, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Jaipur, Hyderabad, Chennai, Cape Town. Okay, I feel has been in these places also. All right. Mm, for the past 10 years might be hmm. so yes answers easy easy question right you can just plot this or like you can just find the counts of that you can say the values counts. so that's the data 85 for the Mumbai Right, what I see like most of the times for Mumbai, Kolkata, Bangalore. Bangalore for 66, Kolkata 61, Delhi 60, Hyderabad 49, and so does like for the best one is the Mumbai. Hmm? You can even plot this data, right? You can just plot out uh, these things or like count and all those for this particular state. So if you say like uh, based if the data. 
we say on data plotting places where most matches has been played. Right? Hmm. So this is for count plot and your data is df of uh, what is this uh, city well cool will not work here Still, some are left. So, this is your data. Like you can see, the most is the Mumbai. It's from the graph, you can see, right? The most one is of the Mumbai. Then, immediately followed by the Bangalore, Kolkata, and like this all. Right, so you can find this data, you can even plot the bar plot or like all those things. Okay, now the next, uh, let's see anyone answers or not. Return counts, obviously. Okay, next question. Hmm. So, which team has won the most number of tasks? Yes, which team has. Uh, won by the most number of tosses I would click which is the team again uh, the same function return counts will it work this is like toss winner So, we can see like the toss winner has been Mumbai Indians for 85 times. There is something fishy over here. 85 number of times this toss has been won. Okay. And matches played for 82 times. How? This is fishy, right? Toss won for 85 times, matches played for 82 times. Ninety two times Romanians has won. Okay. Eighty five times won the toss, ninety two times won the matches. But why this is coming? This has okay. Let's see for the team two. Is there any difference between them? Eighty four 
minus 75. Huh? Team 1 played with the team 2. For like, okay, okay, okay. So team one played with the team two. Fine. So we got one by one team that is matches KKR, RCB, CSK, Kings 9, Punjab, RRDD, MI, RCB. That would not be much good. Okay. KKR is there. If we find and we don't. X is this much, Y is 131, 75, 147. Okay, where is MI? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So MI has played 157 matches. Out of which it has won the toss for 85 times, won the matches for 92 times. Right, clear. But I was thinking on if a team has won matches, uh, if a team is winning the toss for 85 times and playing the matches for 82 times, how it could be possible? Right. So, yes, so this is like uh, this particular MI has played for 157 times. Okay, so you can even make a dictionary of that. Like, you can say this team is equals to. Mm. Like if I say CSK, then okay, apply some groups over there for X, oh, sorry, for I in X. Let's see, in X, comma Y. Okay, let's keep it. Otherwise, it make some more times. It's five fifty eighteen. More to do. Okay, uh, so you can see like here yeah, this particular matches for so the most number of matches. Still, you can see like MI is leading, right? Because most number of matches is played by MI itself. Okay, 
157, then by RCB that is 152, by CSK it's 131, and so does right. You are having everything of that, right? So X of every particular individuals, and you can print it like print uh, for for uh, I in X comma Y. of length of x plus 1 print x y Can only concatenate string, not integer to string. All right. Oh, cool. So, uh, Y has not been printed. So now we'll find the best team. What we'll try to do for finding the best team, which will be the best team, like the team who would have won the most number of matches, right? So the team who have won the most number of matches, including the finals and like for the uh, regular matches, right? So the regular matches, including the finals, the team which has won the most number of uh, matches will be the best team. So you can plot it or you can see it even so you can plot it like uh, so if you see the most number of matches like the winning of that matches uh, for getting the exact data so you can find for the winner got right. the value counts so the best team is Mumbai nice Similarly, you can find out the best team, best team by number of wickets. Hey, best team by the number of wickets. So that would be EF of. Pinal by wickets. So, see, you can see Mumbai is here 92. So, every time you'll see this MICSK, RCBK, KR over there, right? So, here also you can just write down that value. Counts to be the most number of. So getting 0, 297 and something like this. So team who had won by the most number of wickets like this. They are getting something like this, right? So that is not correct or like that is not a good uh, representation you can get. So what you can do is you can say that you want to see in your data, you want to find in the win by wickets, in exactly which of the row you are having the most uh, like value like the most uh, like the uh, highest value so exactly in which of the row you are having the max value so in the index of x which is having the max value right so it says to be 12 so if it is 12 we'll print on df of 12 we'll see what comes so there will be a series coming over there so series uh, df of oh sorry that is we locating 
and this is the index location. So 12 is said to be the serial number 13 uh, and this is a match played in 2008. Like uh, so if we just print this. So that is the match played in Chandigarh or sorry, where? Yeah, it's Mumbai. So match played in Mumbai in 2008 on 27th April with, with the I think DC is taking charges. Uh, for field normal, they have not applied. Winner was DC and win by 10 wickets. Man of the match was AC Gilchrist, uh, sorry Gilchrist and when he was here, Dr. Patel, let it be anything. Okay, oh, there was our three as the empire, nice. So you can find it, like uh, the index location of the maximum values. Similarly, you can find the most number, uh, the team won by the most number of runs, right? For that, what will there, that is DF of, uh, like, win by runs and like idx max so 620 it's saying 620 cell number the most number of so we'll print on so we'll actually look at the 620 That is match played in 2017 between Mumbai Indians and Total Right. Every time this MI is coming there. So MI and DD. And the toss was sweet normal runs. So winner was MI, run by 146 runs and win by 146. And this man of the match was Leonard Simmons. And nice. Okay. So most number of uh, like the runs the team has won is 146. So again cool so similarly you can find it just like the winner and you can see for the maximum value of this particular one so uh, right here your maximum yeah you can go see cannot find any integer values okay no issues so that is like you can get your data. Okay. So to plot like uh, the best man of match, if I want to see the past ten years who has been the top player, or who has been the uh, like the best player in the past ten years, what we can do in the man of the matches, you will see the count, right? Uh, something like that. You will see the count of that. That is your df dot man of the match. I think it's m capital. Yes, man of the match, and you will see for the value counts. You will find the first ten. Let's say the first ten values, and Chris Gale for eighteen times. Yk, I think it's Yusuf Pathan for sixteen. Warner for 15, De Villiers 18, oh sorry 15, Raina 14, 15, Alright, Dhoni for 13, nice. What is the real name of Rohit Sharma? It's R Y it is RG, I don't know. It's Rohit, where from G comes. Nice. Uh, okay, so this is like the thing you can see on, right? So the most number are like the best man of the match from in the previous past 10 years is this one. Right? You can even plot this just by using the count plot. You can even plot this data out. Right? So we have seen a lot of things in between this uh, analysis of partners and now I think you guys are uh, clear in the data analysis, right? Uh, it can be like you, you must be like clear in the data analysis part. Okay? So your partners comes to an end over here like and from tomorrow your regular timing classes will be starting on. Okay.
like for the 11 to sorry for the 12 to 2 or like 345 to 445 uh, AIML will have the same classes you can stop the videos hmm.